Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today we are going to make a card featuring the Pop of Paradise, one of the new, in the new catalog stamps that I just really like. These are all just such cute stamps, and I'm going to focus this week on the Flamingo, just because there are so many cute things that you can do with this Flamingo. I thought that I would highlight her or him, whichever, um, in my card series this week. So this is going to be the first of three that I'm going to do with the Flamingo. I'm also going to use this background from You've Got This. It's a two-part stamp series. The first one is a beautiful flower and it has some sentiments. And then this is an awesome background stamp that I just really like. So I'm going to use this as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock and I'm going to go long ways. I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Get my ink out of the way. And so that will make two cards and I'm just going to fold this in half to make this an A2 sized card that will end up being four and a quarter by five and a half. And I like to use my bone folder to crease this. And I'll put that away. Then we are going to use some Pop of Paradise Designer Series paper. I just love this too. I think it's awesome. It has um, black, white, melon mambo, and gold are the colors that go with that set. And it's just a beautiful set. And then I have a piece of basic black to set on top of that. And then I have a piece of, ooh, that was hard to say, a piece of thick whisper white cardstock to go on top of that. And then I have some of the Thick Baker's Twine in Melon Mambo to tie a little bow. So I thought that would be really cute. And I'm going to do a Melon Mambo background with a black flamingo. And the reason I did this in Thick Whisper White as opposed to regular Whisper White is because I'm kind of thinking, I don't know yet, I might want to add a little bit of water to it, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But this is a pretty big background stamp, so actually now that I look at how big it is, I've kind of forgotten. I don't know that I'm going to need to add water to make it any more interesting. I think it'll be interesting enough, just big. So it's going to cover my whole sheet of thick whisper white, which is fine, but I'm going to put this kind of in the middle. Make sure I have that where I need it. I know sometimes my bracelet makes that noise and it can be distracting and frustrating. So I'm taking my pink ink and I'm just going to get this all inked up. I might need to add some refill to this. And then I'm just going to stamp it down. And I'm using the Misty, and most every time I use this, somebody asks me where I got it. Um, you can get it lots of places, but the place that I always recommend is going straight to mysweetpetunia.com and getting it there because it, you will find that it is less expensive if you purchase it there than if you purchase it through Amazon or whatever. I also love to use my Stampin' Scrub and my Stampin' Mist that goes on the wet side. And that is refillable, so I have had this for many moons and I love it. So I'm going to put my Flamingo on this. And I'm going to stamp this in black. Oh, here's my cat again. Oh, goodness. Fuzzy, go on. Fuzz. Oh, lordy. He's trying to get up somewhere he probably shouldn't be. <sighs> I love my cats, but they are annoying sometimes. So let's see. I'm going to put this right here in the middle. Just like that. Well, I think I did it a little crooked. <laughs> I did, but that's okay. So 
let's see. I don't know if I want to put a sentiment on this or not. Let's put it together and then we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this onto my black and I'm using my ATG gun. Feel free to use your snail. This That's all you need for that. Huh. I wonder, I might trim this just a little bit just because it's a little bit annoying to me that it's so crooked. I probably shouldn't admit that. <laughs> but it is. So I'm going to try to straighten it a little bit. So I'm just trimming it a hair. Oh, that was a little more than a hair, but that's okay. Oops, and then I put it on there crooked. That's a little better to me. Yes. And now I'm going to take my twine, and I think I'll wrap it around a couple of times. So I like to start my twine. I didn't show you, and I didn't do it right either. I like to start my twine at the end like this, and then just wrap it around as many times as I want. And then I think that's where I'll cut it. And then you can just go ahead and tie it in your knot or your bow, whatever you'd prefer. I'm going for a knot. And I'm just going to take these apart just a little bit so that they're not next to each other. And sometimes these get like really wonky, like see how it like isn't connected to the other string. So what I do in that case is I just tie it again and I attach both the strings together because that can be, I don't know, it can look funny in my opinion. So I like them to like meet in the middle. So I just tie a knot there so that they definitely meet. And then I'm just going to trim the edge just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's cute. So this is a really simple, easy, fast card. And then we're going to just put this in the middle of the designer series paper. And we will put the designer series paper on our card base. Make sure it opens the right way. Yes, it does. Because <laughs> we all know I've been there before. Oh. Okay, and that is really cute. And I'm going to tell you a secret. My pink is not Melon Mambo because I don't have that and I need to really open, get that. Look how old this is. This is Pink Passion. I don't even know when... Stampin' Up! carried this, but it's embarrassing because it's so dirty anyway, but I didn't even use the right color, but it still looks fine. You can tell a little bit, but nobody's going to notice on a galloping horse, and it's really cute. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put like three rhinestones down here just because I think it would make it just that much cuter. So, totally optional. But glitter and glam and bows. Ooh, I love them. Perfect. And I don't even think I'm going to put a sentiment on there. I like it just the way it is. So that's that. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy making your cards.